Uh, yeah, increase my pay. I would like to do that quite a bit. Also, yeah, if, if the green means things that have already passed, and the red means things that haven't, that actually helps a lot. So they don't want to ban punishment for homosexual relations. They, it's important to them that it does get passed. And it hasn't yet. So they actually, uh, the Freedom Party is very pro-gay rights. There you go, I apparently. Far-right conservative party that advocates the need for a strong leader and Swarelian unity. I, I don't know. Now, I don't think... Yeah, okay, green active edicts, red available edicts. I guess that might make some sense. Now, I don't think we can pass it. I think they have to come up as decisions, don't they? Yeah, I think, I think those, again, are ones that we're going to have to just wait for them to come up as decisions at some point. Presumably. Can I do mandatory vaccines? How much are people... Yeah, they're really opposed to that. Support for four, poor families. Um, the problem is... It would be nice if in this tooltip it told you how many seats these uh, parties had. So the communist and the central... Act, or, no. Not... I can't mouse over them. Um, but the party that actually likes me. So the communists are way in favor. They only have eight seats. The social democrat party are way in favor. They only have five. The central party is not that opposed and they have 19. We might be able to swing something there, which would be something to consider. So, um, yeah, increasing my pay. So that's um, not service funding. Is it under taxation? Oh, right here. Elena sent out Elias. People want to see that increased. Um, people are way in favor of this. And they're fine here. They're fine here. Okay, I'm going to max it out. And people don't seem to care too much, actually. It's kind of surprising. Um, it's only going to take 7000 a month away from the city, which should be fine. Um, oh, it didn't stick. I said just do that. I thought I might be able to do more than one at a time. People are way in favor of giving me a ton of money. And you can probably keep doing that um, to get, like, more and more swap over. So my personal funds per month are going to be hugely affected. Don't do it. They will hate you easier later. Eh. If you look at where they're seated in the assembly hall, you can tell which side of the political spectrum they're on. Pretty interesting. Ah, okay. There's no such thing as public opinion. There's only published opinion. So this unlocks... Um, Parks, which is probably because I think before we only had small parks, twin cities, and then some cities unlock delegations view, whatever that is. Let's go for HVAC because we might be interested in going to high density for even more cash. Oh, we get an event for it right away. So let's take a look here. Uh, this technology allows a lot of new possibilities, and the standard of living is higher than ever before. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning is the latest thing to improve people's standard of living. The city administration is planning on HVAC systems soon being standard in as well. Probably there should be Coopolis over there. They should focus on improving quality of life or efficient systems. Um, I know that electricity and things like that is something you have to worry about. I'm betting efficient systems will save us a little bit of cash, but let's go ahead and get improved quality of life. We want... More. Bonus to physical environment, presumably for the entire city, plus two. Bam. All right. Marital funds plus four. Everyone's super in favor of giving me a ton of cash. It is hereby proposed that a fund will be created by the government via taxation to provide a means of support to the unemployed. Oh, yes, I totally support this. Yes, absolutely. It's going to create more security, more health, um, as well as more personal growth. Yes. Welfare. Unemployment benefits. It's not, not necessarily welfare, but unemployment benefits. Uh, so that's mayoral funding. Unemployment benefits. Because I think there was the... Uh, oh, this party goal for... Really? Still unemployment funds. Yep, definitely going to pass. Groovy. You can propose more than one thing in funding. Just click the other one after you want. Uh, so I guess it's because... like. Because I was closing the window or closing my personal funding again, it was resetting it. But if I just clicked on a different category, maybe I could have piled more things into the same decision. All right, well, we'll look into that next time when maybe we're looking into changing the funding for some of these things. Because rather than building more districts, I could just, or not districts, but like 
institutional support for, you know, police stations and whatnot. I could just fund them more. Although I do want to start building full-on parks. That would probably be a good idea. The same screen, you, you pay, you try to promote services, more bang for your buck. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Okay, so we're going to vote on the funding changes first. I mean, that's already in here. Looks like it's going to pass easily. So go us. Excellent. Um, I'm going to let the unemployment funds go through first. And then once that's done, we'll go and try to pass some other thing. Probably get away with lowering taxes and make people like you more. Lowering taxes? That doesn't sound like the sort of thing I would do. Ooh, father's legacy. You raised by father was always more interested in things than people. Yep, that's true, I was. Some children might have felt neglected, but not you. What was the most important thing you learned from your father? Enjoyment of solitary work, interest in medicine, doesn't matter what others think. I want an interest in medicine, because actually, I believe that this character that I'm playing now uh, became a doctor. So, we're going to do that. So, you love your father for showing you how to be passionate about making the world a better place, another reason to love him. Uh, points acquired towards the progressive trait, plus five. Well, I mean, I think we were already progressive, although we might become turbo-progressive over here. I'm not sure. We are soft and progressive. God, such a hippy-dippy liberal. There's a new button on the bottom left! Oh! Oh, 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 okay. So I still don't know delegation, or maybe that's trade delegations, and we've unlocked the cities. Oh! Select the location, Twin Cities. Choose a city that you wish to conclude a partnership agreement with. Oh, guys, okay, so we, we can only pick Oxford, San Francisco, or Sydney. Shouldn't Sydney be over here? I mean, I know, they're not actually arranged physically. I mean, it's sort of vaguely from where we are southwest. Hey, oh, first of all, I'm terribly sorry. I missed a tip from Mobile Rockers earlier. Watch your Crusader Kings videos with my girlfriend. Found a great game we both love, which happens to be made in home country. So thank you. Sad to hear you couldn't get to Stockholm. Yeah, but we'll be, I'll be coming again to Sweden. Absolutely. And hopefully we can do something there. Thank you very much, Mobile Rockers. And yeah, CK is an awesome game. Mr. Horse with a big tip coming in. Thank you for helping pass the time at work when I have nothing to do and bringing me more joy than throwing horseshoes. Rimworld reference. Here's a little something for the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund. Well, thank you very much. We've got a very nice whiskey standing by for the multiplayer portion later today. Um, so, can I mouse over these? I'm assuming if I click on this, it's not going to lock in. Um, there we go. Oxford was founded over a millennia ago, and while it has remained a relatively small city, it's, it is world-renowned. Home to one of the world's best universities, Oxford remains a hub of education, business, and culture. Delegation duration. Um, some amount of months. What is that? Is that any chance it's like 15 years or something? I'm not going to do the math. But I, my my instincts, my alternate facts, my gut tells me that's about 15 years. It's going to cost 50000 which is nothing. So, grammar school, high school, public library, university. I assume this is going to be a buff to one of those things. San Francisco. Being among the most liberal cities in the world, San Francisco is the cradle of sexual revolution and hippie movement. Well, the hippie movement's not going to start for another 30 years, but, you know, sure. Uh, together with famous landmarks such as the Golden Gate Bridge, this has made San Francisco an important tourist uh, destination and economic hub. So, presumably, it's a boost to the courthouse, fire station, radio tower. And in Sydney, originally a penal colony, Sydney has grown to become the most important western harbor city in the southern hemisphere. Cultural capital of Australia, Sydney boasts a rich cultural life and large population. Theater port 15 years four months why what so what do we want do, 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 do. i mean i feel that for essential i should pick san francisco although she likes oxford too i mean the thing is i feel like i have to go oxford because our entire theme of course has been um education that's the theme of this family and in fact i feel like Oxford University's got to be the way to go. Oh, and chat is pretty overwhelming. So we're going to go ahead and assign Oxford as our twin city. You use international sympathy for a young nation to establish an official twin city with Oxford. It didn't come cheap, though, uh, so you should try to make the best of the situation. Do you want to try Oxford's help for research on Swarelian history, improve your education facilities, or inspiring city officials? I'm wondering if this helps to lead more towards independence or something like that. I mean, educational facilities, a dirty. Inspiring city officials, I wonder if that would make people like me more or anything like that. Oh, it lasts until the end of the era. 
That explains it. Okay. So yeah, we'll have to go education because that's our theme. So this is going to cost me money. Uh, bonus to per personal growth. Adult industry. I don't think that means what they think it means. Uh, plus three. Guys, guys, there's more personal growth going on in our adult industry. So there you go. So Rally is independent already. Okay. Sydney Port Best. Yeah, I mean, that would totally make a lot of sense, too. All right, so now that we've done that, um, unemployment fund is going to pass easily. All right. I want to see if we can buff these uh, institutions. I was kind of interested in that. Um, upgrade. Yeah, so we can get another level in here. Oh, we already have that. Excellent. What about the railroad? Upgrade. Yep. Yeah, okay, we're already capped there as well. The next thing would be the university, which was... Oh, that's the hospital. Can we buff that? No upgrades unlocked. Radio tower? Nope. I wonder if there's like an easier way to find the list. I don't remember where the university is. That's just a park. Oh, here it is. University. Upgrade. No, no upgrades unlocked for any of those things. Okay, which is fine. Do we want to plop down more parks to improve our physical environment or just pass some more laws? How do we feel? Uh, Texilla, I just use one PC. I, I play and stream on the same one. You can use a separate PC with a capture card that like passes your HDMI through. Um, and that does mean you can dedicate more like just hardware, just raw horsepower to the encoding, but I haven't found it needed. You can still buff them from the pay screens thing. Right, that's true. I could. That's an, a, a good point. I could go back to um, not taxation. But from here, you're absolutely right. So we have eight small parks, so doing this will dramatically in increase our cost. Like, 73k a month if we go all the way there is a pretty big chunk of our cash. But... Oh, adds more workplaces for the small park, small park. Oh, this was working class places, middle class workspaces. Okay, huge boost to physical environment. Um, percentage increase there. Uh, working class workplaces again. Bonus to non-optimal range. Bonus to health. Bonus to social life. And more... Okay, so this is going to create a lot of jobs. Because we're going to have a lot of people working in these parks. Best park, best park. Big, beautiful, regulated parks. Big parks, parks, more parks. Laws and parks and infrastructure. Parks and Recreation. That's what this stream is all about. So, um, what else is a little bit lower? Security, health, um, fun. So, if the fun is one of the lowest, let's go. say we go to the theater. Okay, so it did remember that. That's good. And if I do this... Okay, the, the green line is really starting to move here. Probably because we're taking up a pretty big chunk of our expenses. So, I'm going to go ahead and propose this funding. I'm Leslie Nope. Yes. I, I've only watched a, a handful of episodes, maybe halfway through the first season of that. I really have to go and watch it all. And yes, we could give more funding to education. Um, maybe we can squeeze a little bit of that in there too. There we go. A little, just tell you what, we'll bring everything up one more notch. Vocational schools, high school. I guess the university funding isn't here. Because it's, yeah, it's an infrastructure. Okay, so we're doing a little bit of everything. It's going to cost me basically all my currently monthly budget. <laughs> it's a big <laughs> amount of cash we're spending. And if the world economy turns, we'll start losing money. But we still have a lot in the bank. Plus, we're proposing unemployment funding at the same time. So this is probably all going to be really bad. But hey, the party's going to support it. So there we go. Also, if we're 15 years away from changing era, when we change eras, the demand for everything is going to go up a lot. So we'll see how it goes. Monthly check whether it's still calling me true. <laughs> mayoral elections closing in. City Council will soon be voting on who will be the new mayor of Quilopolis. Well, I haven't passed anything that is needed to upset anyone right now. You have to ask yourself, are you better now than you were five years ago? And I think the answer we can all agree is true. Got dirt on a couple of parties. These things are going to go. I haven't browbeat anyone for a while. So the goodwill is improving slightly. And yeah, we can we can, we can can force our way back into office here. 
And my inauguration is going to have the biggest crowd ever. Uh, high security in Whitburg. Okay, well, we have two Whitburg, so I don't know which is which. Theft and assaults are rare in Whitwork, Whitburg. The residents never lock their doors and trust easily. Are they too trusting? Um, so probably this will make me more soft or naive or something, as opposed to, there we go, becoming more cynical but less gullible. No, Quilopolis should have more people like that. So there we go. We are going to get more prestige, uh, and we are moving towards the optimist trait. Excellent. We're still just soft and progressive right now. Oh, yeah, that. We're up to half a million. Like, we're about to, like, increase our expenses dramatically with these funding changes, but that's okay. HVAC just finished. The skylines lit up at the dead of night. The air conditioning systems cooling empty hotels in the desert and artificial light in the middle of the day all have something both demented and admirable about them. So this unlocks high density. It also unlocks department stores, which I believe will auto-appear. And we choose the next step in the progress cloud. I mean, I would ultimately like to burn through all of this before the next era. Hopefully, we've got enough personal growth for that to happen. Um, I'm not sure if that's true. It's nice and green here, so probably, but we probably need to buy more school or build more schools. Equality! Let's pass some equality. For education, basic education, community college, appeals office, an upgrade for the courthouse. I don't even know if we've built a courthouse. Um, unlock taxation options. May set taxes based on social classes and company type. Ooh. Antibiotics would help keep people, people alive. Is there something I can do to improve the beauty of our area through one of those? Well, really, ultimately, um, it's going to be <coughs> through building those parks. Proper parks. So I think we'll leave it be now. Of course, oh my god, i got to sneeze again. <coughs> one time for each nostril. Um, if we're going to be more tech-oriented, we might want to look into... Oh, we've got triodes, but we could look into two-way radios. Gun Control Act, full broadcast censorship, established police radio. Appliances, I mean, that's industry standards. Vacuum cleaners, household appliances, appliance store, hardware store, activated sludge system for the water treatment plant. Whatever that means. I'm going to go for equality. Because mm -hmm. apparently I'm a soft, progressive, liberal type. So there you have it. <laughs> Whiskey is the best medicine for a cold. Yeah, we'll be going to that soon. All right, so voting on funding changes. That's going to pass easily. Exquisite. See, it's interesting. Like, a lot of the funding changes, even the ones that I don't expect would pass easy, like um, manipulating the taxes or paying myself more, feels like those should be hard to pass. Whereas edicts are, are the ones that are actually hard to pass, even when I think they make perfect sense. So... I don't know, it seems a little odd to me, but it's fine. Okay, lots of green going all over. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens when the, tick, the month takes over. There we go. We've got positive city phys uh, uh, physical environment. Uh, the health went up as well. I think the uh, social life went up and the overall average happiness went up dramatically. So that's going to be quite nice. Mm -hmm. I think you're missing, I'm missing a tech from the previous era. Uh, let's take a look at the progress cloud. Go to era two. Oh, we're missing tons from the previous era. That explains a lot. Taking criticism. Favorite writer living in Walton. How did we miss all the tech from the previous era? Invite him for dinner. Um, ask him what you can do better. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, Ryder says he doesn't trust you at all, feels discussions are pointless. Only solution he is ready to accept is your resignation. So it's actually going to drop the security in Walton Dale. Um, while also making me more cynical. See, that's what I get for not just threatening people. Why am I being nice? Vote on the new mayor. Okay. New mayoral effect. Uh, yes, so let's take a look at the situation. Interestingly enough, am I... Can I... There we go. Am I right to read this? The Freedom Party is in favor of me. With their minus five goodwill. They hate me, and they're Nazis, but they're going to vote for me. The Social Democrat Party, who like me, are kind of on the fence about re-electing me. 
I think, well, in their mind, they're probably like, well, if the Nazis like you, how can we like you? Oh, they might hate the other guy more. Ah, that's, I get it. They're not voting for me. They're voting against the other guy. Just like real politics. That actually makes perfect sense. I'm going to go ahead and just, um, I'm going to plead. I mean, I, again, I've got some dirt on these guys, but it's like, I'm going to praise the positive effects behind my position. Somehow that burns goodwill. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, again, you're using some favor, but does push them a little bit more in favor over there, which is good. Um, the communists as well. Just ask for a favor. They hardly did anything, but a little bit of a scooch over there. Um, the Christian Democratic Party. <clears throat> Our economy will receive a boost if we address the issue. There we go. I mean, clearly I've been making tons of money for the city. I mean, you've got to appreciate that. Um, should I talk to the Nazis? Sure. I'll buy you a beer if you support me. No, I know you're smart enough to vote the way I do. Sucking up to the Nazis. Okay, that, that's way more than I need to do. But I really want to get re-elected. If I'm going to burn my goodwill on something, it's going to be re-election. Controversial issue. As a doctor, you sometimes help women who had re had resorted to an illegal abortion. Lacking legal options, some desperate pregnant women go to back uh, dirty back street clinics. These women, uh, the women you tended had serious complications or infections, and not all of them made it. Your experience have made you an advocate of legal abortion, but it's a controversial subject. Do you dare promote your views and risk losing supporter? Yes, absolutely, completely. That's the entire backbone of this character. Uh, so this is going to tank the goodwill from the Christian Democratic Party, you know, just before an election, so that's good. Um... But I think overall goodwill went up by two. And my progressiveness went up as well. I don't know what that's going to do for our vote. Come on. And yeah, we're still fine. We're still fine. But yeah, we're going to have to go back to the previous era, apparently, from tech. At least we could tech up there pretty quickly. So I'm actually starting to think that our um, personal growth is not as good as I was thinking. Um, and perhaps we need new schooling. Some people are saying something like 40-40-20 was the ideal mix. I don't know sort of where that came from, although we do have more commercial demand. If I build new districts, I'll look into doing something like that. Um, infrastructure over here seems good. It's placed services here. Can I find out how many of these things I've got? But like more personal growth. Actually, the public library is environment and personal growth and is super cheap. Well, it's more expensive to build, but cheaper to maintain than, than vocational schools for some reason. Um, let's go and plop one down here. I don't think I can get it to fit. Oh, yeah, because the road is just a little too tight there. Okay, so we'll put it in there. Um, what else? Maybe we'll put in our first proper park. Uh, do we have a water treatment plant already? No. Uh, although it doesn't have a radius. but So that's our power plant. I don't think we have a water treatment plant yet. Let's see, do we have anything that looks like that? Looks like no. Okay, that seems like a good idea. Um, if we're worried about unemployment, we could build a workshop. It does tank the security a little bit there, but we could pair it with something else that gives um, whatever. I don't know if we have a post office. Nope, because, and this actually has a radius, and this is nice and small, so we can drop it down there quite easily. I think I'm going to stop with that. So we're going to conserve, uh, confirm this. I should rename these after subscribers. I'm going to look at the chat. Uh, Mr. Tipa, oh no, you're, you're not a subscriber, you just have Twitch Prime. I got to look for my little face. Terja! So, so, so you have the previous text, it's a bug. You start on error 3 text before error 2 ended. So yeah, I thought we completed them all. So it's a, a display bug? Anyway, so this is going to be Terja... Oops. Terja Town. Like that. 
I'm spelling that correctly, right? Yeah. Bam. Proposed district. Everyone's super in favor, so we'll just use a quickened vote. That's going to be fine. Get her done. 